when I turn up the bass. Citrus Aviation here for another video and today we are doing the Cleveland ASO vlog and so in today's video it'll be I think it'll end up being all three days I'm gonna do this one video I'm going all three days Saturday Sunday Monday and uh, today I'm going to the Saturday so and I am gonna be late a little bit I'm missing the first hour or so of action due to some stuff I had to do before I had to go and so we're gonna go to so now and hopefully y'all enjoy this video of all the action and the fun vibes we get up to, some of the people we get to meet, and all the static displays we get to look at. So hopefully I'll enjoy a special video, and let me know if you want to see more ASO experience vlogs like this one. First of the demo teams was the F-22 Raptor demo team presented by the United States Air Force. You see it, Dwight? Yeah. Ah, oh, not for long. You'll know it's here. <laughs> this act literally never disappoints. Oh yeah. This is look at everyone's looking the same way. This is my third time seeing it. I'm, I'm hyped to see it again. It's Let's so see. good. Oh my god. Look at that!
like this. They don't use slow time like that. These are only ones. Oh, so all the computers are your profiles. <laughs> Cleveland National Air Show was held at Bulk Lakefront Airport near downtown Cleveland, Ohio. You can get great views of the city of Cleveland from the airfield, and you can also get great views of the air show from some of the boat rides that are available. Now, I didn't do any of the boat rides. I stayed on the airfield all three days, but you can still see that you can get some great views from the field, seeing the aircraft, and seeing all the awesome static displays that they had. They had some FA-18s on display. They had some trainer aircraft. They had an F-4. They had a bunch of awesome aircraft on display. Here takes off the U.S. Navy Rhino Demo Team FA-18F Super Hornet. On takeoff, we're going to watch here as it arrives. A really awesome special static display is this United Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 9. This aircraft was flown in fresh from Everett, Washington. It is a brand new 737 MAX 9 registered on November 77575. It is a brand new aircraft. This aircraft hadn't even been delivered to United yet. It was flown from Everett direct to Bulk Lakefront. And then on the final day of the show, it was formally delivered to United Airlines where it flew from the Lakefront Airport to Cleveland Hopkins International that evening on the evening of the 4th on Monday. And the aircraft was entered into service that night to United and flew out the following morning on its inaugural commercial flight. They had a GPU or ground power unit hooked up to it as well as an ACU or air conditioning unit hooked up to the aircraft. You can see those units here. The GPU provides ground power to the aircraft and is able to keep the aircraft lit up so that, you know, you could walk inside and take a look at the aircraft while having the lights on. And the ACU provided air conditioning so the aircraft was nice and cool for the hot, hot September days. The aircraft is fantastic and it features United's brand new signature cabin. And as you can see, we're doing a walk around here of the aircraft. You can see it's a gorgeous aircraft, brand new, just delivered. It smelled super fresh. And you can get a good view of it. It's really cool that United brought it to the show. Nice demonstration of what their product offers. You can see the aircraft. They let you look inside the engine. You could get a tour of the interior. Take a look at it. Sit in the seats. Take a look in the flight deck. Take a picture on the flight deck if you want to. And there was a first officer and captain there if you want to talk to them. And a flight attendant. And like there were several representatives from United there. Including some local airport staff. Some that even recognized me. Thank you all so much to those uh, who did recognize me and said hi. So great representation by United Airlines of their new MAX 9. At the time, the newest aircraft in their entire fleet, technically not even delivered. Really cool aircraft and really sweet to see that United brought this aircraft out for everyone to see. <laughs> I know there's arms inside those wings. <laughs> what are you looking for? Next up would be a demonstration by the Aerocell Aerobatic team. This team flies four T-6 Texan aircraft, which have an amazing rumble with their radial engines, and they do a professional, awesome performance, as you can see here.
down, turning and diving, he's going to change position from finger forward, strong right, back to the diamond position. Again, all wingmen are looking at a target. There were several other special static displays you could take a look at and go inside of. The U.S. Air Force brought their C-5M Super Galaxy to the show, which is the largest cargo aircraft in the world now that the Antonov 225 is no longer with us. The C-5M, though, is still a massive, gigantic aircraft, and you could walk inside of it and just see how massive it is. And that's just the lower deck. They didn't even sell off the upper deck, which is mostly for seating, but there is a second level to the C-5M as well. In addition, you can walk inside the C-17, which is its little brother. The C-17 Globemaster III is very commonly used throughout the United States Air Force and several other air forces around the world as a great cargo capacity aircraft with amazing capabilities. Finally, a P-8 Poseidon by the U.S. Navy was available on display, also a brand new aircraft, just like the United 737 MAX 9. This aircraft is also new, and you could see a lot of the Boeing 737 NG components in the aircraft, such as the flight deck being basically identical to a standard 737-800NG, and a lot of the aircraft fuselage components being similar as well. The aircraft, though, is heavily modified for the purpose of submarine hunting and can also do search and rescue operations. Where, like I work in the back of the plane, we all sit basically um, at these computers here. Each one has like a keyboard and a, um, a little trackball and everything. We can work most of the mission equipment from these computers, um, stuff like the radar. We have like antennas that can um, pick up uh, basically any like. Electromagnetic signatures are all like pretty unique. Uh, okay we, can, we can pick them up. Um, Some of these, which we drop a lot of. Um, one of our primary missions is anti-submarine warfare, and the way that you track a submarine is to, to listen to it with sound, basically. So we deploy these sound buoys manically outside the aircraft. You can carry like over a hundred of them, um, but it goes quick depending on how long you have to sort of be out there. You know, fly for maybe eight hours. That's a pretty typical time for us. Um, these are observer stations here. They're like the uh, windows in the back. It kind of sucks. I wish we had more windows, but that's whatever. They're, they're big at least. Um, so if you need someone, if you're doing like a search and rescue, you know, um, asking for example, like you can sit someone here and do a visual search. Um, it's just nice to have a window. I'm glad that we yeah. Uh, back there is storage for sono buoys. Um, 
in the rack to either side, and we have the pneumatic launchers I mentioned in uh, just beyond that. Um, so the operator can load and unload so that he's back there. Yeah. I don't know if you guys uh, saw the weapons bay when you um, when you walked on, mm -hmm. but yeah, it's, there's a weapons bay and it's open right now. I should take a look. Oh, we'll yeah, definitely do. We'll definitely do that. There, right? Yeah, we have hard points for five torpedoes in the weapons bay. Oh, and then wow. There's also wow. I don't know if you noticed, but there are hard points on the wings for um, uh, anti ship missiles as well. Nice. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. We don't have pylons installed right now, but we could. You could if you like want the most to. Arm seven thirty seven. Yeah, I know. It's, <laughs> This is neat. It's pretty wild. <laughs> Second to the last performance was performed by the United States Navy, demonstrating their Harrier jump jet. This aircraft consumes so much fuel during this demonstration that it only lasts for about 10 minutes, and it uses its entire fuel load to do it. This is also one of the loudest demonstrations, so let's enjoy the show.
final demonstration headline for this year, 2023, was the United States Air Force Thunderbirds. This was my first time ever seeing them, and let's enjoy the awesome, wonderful performance they put on. All right, my first time seeing the Thunderbirds. Let's see what this looks like. Get a nice wide shot. Here they come. I know. We're just run. Just run as fast as oh, you can. Okay. Thank you. It's my favorite place to play is traffic. <laughs> Oh, there he is. Oh, and there's a four. 